Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to game two of set two, where Gale Force tries to 2 0 Northern Storm, and conversely, Northern Storm tries to not get 2 0'd. I am here with Nickel, who I hope is back. Oh, I'm here. Absolutely. I'm, I'm always here. Perfect. I, uh, I'm sure that will not haunt me tonight in my sleep. But um, <laughs> it'll be good dreams. <laughs> that's uh, that's probably more threatening. Anyways, <laughs> um, so Nickel, if you if uh, you were Northern Storm right now, what would you be trying to change uh, in this next match? Honestly, I wouldn't change too much. I mean, they were doing pretty well throughout their entire game. It's like, uh, as I was saying, like it seemed like it, I, I honestly was in Northern Storm's cor court for the first part of that game, but it just seemed like that Gale Force gained the upper hand, were able to get a couple steals under their belt, and then just turned the entire match on its heels. I wonder if they're going to be able to do that again, though. Uh, but seeing how it went, I don't know if they're going to change picks or bans or anything. Although, maybe Gale Force will try to take Blitzcrank away from Sigtal Lord just to be those people. But we'll have to see. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so immediately starting by banning Zed. Now, here's the thing. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, Sh Shaken, I don't know his champion. <laughs> so, uh, started, starting by targeting that Zed, uh, it took a while for that Zed to get online, but once Shaken was destroying people uh, on that Zed, it was a bit of a problem, although um, I'm not sure it was the, uh, the main reason that they lost. Um, so far, some pretty similar bans going across. Um, obviously, Zed is new. Um, so, it's pretty similar so far. A lot of little things will become a major annoyance to you. They want to get that set off the table right away because they do not want to deal with that threat. Yeah, exactly. Now they're thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh crap, I only had two figured out. <laughs> you know? And a Leona Ben. I do think, if I recall right, I think that was banned last time too. Yeah. They don't want Poison Navy on that. I Although I thought the Morgana was focusing that. Yeah. Uh, I, th I thought the Morgana was actually very good. Um, a couple late black shields, but hey, that happens to the best of us. Mm -hmm. um, lots of solid bindings and such. So, so I'll uh, ask you, Truffles, since mm -hmm. you asked me the last time while I was having technical difficulties. When was the last time you played with a Dr. Mundo? Uh, probably the last time I played with Stelio Contos. <laughs> there you go, folks. The insider Ooh. right here. And Evelyn. Evelyn. I actually played a match on Evelyn today, and I went like 18 and 4 or 14 and 4. I can't remember which, but uh, I, I. You heard it here first from Truffles. She's broken. Oh, I actually. I'm, I have every intention of abusing that in the remainder of ranked to see if I can get up a couple. Um, <laughs> I, I had a kill a minute in that game. But. Um, uh, uh, but uh, Ezreal comes out, so that's the same Fat Jackalope showing off his new Ezreal skills. I thought he did fine on that. Deformed 8, uh, picking Lux here to take that away from Sigtail Infinite, forcing him on his next highest pick, which I suspect will be Malzahar. Um, I'm not sure that I like encouraging players to play on, <laughs> on Malzahar. Um, Chaosic's firing back with uh, Jax. I don't know if that's going in top or jungle at the moment. Bringing in the flex. I assume that's probably top. With Evo Wait. Oh yeah, with Evo Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm, I'm just a little bit slow some days. But I, I had to think about that for a <laughs> second because I'm like, wait a minute. No, so, but yeah, that's an Evelyn jungle Jack stop. Inter what interesting that uh, that Shaden sprung for Jax since Urgot was still up. But oh, I wonder if Jax was banned. I think Jax was banned last uh, last game. That actually makes sense. I was I was Coming. trying to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Everything. <laughs> the numbers, what do they mean? Sigtow Infinite coming in with a Talon. Interesting. There, It seems like that Northern Storm is just changing their tempo with everything. And part of that is forced by a couple of very clever bands and takeaways on Gale Force. I actually really like their draft phase right now. Yeah, those three, I think, are the must takeaways. The Camille, the Fizz, and the Aurelia. Targeting fan with that Kaisa ban. I wonder if we're going to see a Sivir ban as well. It could be that they don't respect it, um, or it could be that they just have split focus here, but I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to double down on their bans on an ADC roll. Likewise, I have no idea what I would ban if I was Northern Storm at this moment, but they seem to have a, a game plan here. 
would seem so. They definitely didn't like the Gnar last game. Just taking that off the table. Yeah, and I, I mean, it certainly worked out. There were some uh, truly massive alts coming out of that Mega Gnar. Um, so I, I can absolutely respect that ban. I, I, I think Northern Storm's strategy here is to just completely flip the table over and, um, and just come into this as a fresh game with uh, basically new everything. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't a Blitzcrank ban against the Town Lord, but it seems like they were handling it just fine, so maybe not too much of a surprise to anybody else. I think I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Morgana is just such a strong counter. Yeah, could be. It makes you wonder what Sigtown Lord is going to pick, but it seems like that Gale Force is fine with just picking on WD Fan, getting rid of Kaisa and Ditristana. Looks like they're going to force him back to Sivir, I would guess. Sivir does have, uh, is a late game win condition, not that great in the early game, so it looks like, um, uh, I, I should wait till they lock in Sivir before I speculate too much, but a Maokai in top lane, Stelio Kantos, uh, going full tank, being the tank that his team needs. Ooh, a Twitch could be an interesting one. A Twitch it is, that massive team fighting, yet borderline submarine play that comes out of Twitch. Uh, I, I could see some potential here, but you would definitely need some kind of disengage or frontline tank here coming in, uh, for the support position. Right. I'm kind of surprised that Gale Force isn't picking. Ooh, we got Shen coming through. Ooh, speaking of submarine, we can submarine Shen now. It's been a hot minute since I've seen one of those. But, um. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised that Gale Force didn't pick Urgot this time. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a tanky Jax fits in okay here as well. Although, I honestly think I would have preferred the Urgot. Um, yeah, for sure. It certainly wasn't the problem <laughs> with the comp. You know, I, I mean, I, they, they were winning for most of the game. Um, but as it is... Ooh, a Nocturne. I, I, I missed that in all of that. I, I think <laughs> Nocturne and Ev, these are the two that you're terrified to leave your team for at any time. So I would expect a lot of team fights in this game. And I, I'm honestly not sure which comp is better. I, I'm kind of inclined to give it to Gale Force, but not by like a super wide margin. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of questions coming out of another storm. Like, is WD Fan going to be able to hyper carry with Twitch? Is like, Tell Lord going to be able to be a good support with Shen? Talon, you got you to gotta get, get in and get dirty and just get out. Evelyn, you said she's broken, so Northern Storm's going to win just based off of that. But well, I, I, I mean, like... some of it could have been personal skill. I mean, I am a Silver 3. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Don't, but, don't talk about rank when you're on stream. <laughs> They'll eat you alive. Oh, uh, yeah. But um, I do have to say, I gotta get lucky. Thanks for reminding us. Can Nocturne remain undefeated? Of course, with Nocturne, is that gonna give them some good luck? Or, or are they gonna be the first ones to leave with a Nocturne? Yeah, I, he's, he's in such a good spot, but honestly, I... I, I do... I, so... Joking aside, I actually do really like Evelyn and where she is in the jungle right now. I think she does tons of damage, and uh, if you play her well, I think you'll get ahead. Um, Prowler does mention that uh, Jax is in fact a Shaden special, and uh, and I and I do believe he was banned the last game, uh, which is why we didn't see him, and uh, instead he got pushed onto Urgot. So it makes sense that he, that he he uh, he sprung for the Jax since it was up. Uh, thank you very much, Prowler. Not for sure. A little bit more comfortable with it, so let's see what he can do with that stick of his. Huh. Let's see. Might be, a, might be a toss up for right now. I don't know. I, I think both yeah. teams have clear win conditions, and, and really that that's what I look for in the pick and ban phase, right? Uh, you've got a Talon and an Evelyn, and a Shen and a Twitch who can just show up in any lane, and and wreck face. Uh, so there's there's going to be a lot of random ganks uh, at least i'd like to see a lot of roaming coming out of northern storm as a whole but likewise nocturne once he hits level six and and to be fair evelyn doesn't have that uh, ability until she has her stealth at level six uh starting level six nocturne can answer most of those ganks just by jumping on whatever lane's in trouble and we also have two globals 
and three teleports again coming out of Gale Force. So, I, I mean, both teams are more than capable of showing up wherever they need to. Um, in front to back team fight, it's still pretty close, but I like the double mage. I, I think that that's very helpful um, in the front to back team fight and also in the picks. So, it's, it's really just a matter of roaming versus picks or team fight, in my opinion. Right. And Truffle, you did make sure to make it not an ARAM game to make it Summoner's Rift, correct? Uh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had to think about that for a second there, didn't you? Although I didn't message anyone to say that, just to make sure that they knew. So we'll see if a Northern Storm or a Gale Force uh, forget that there are other lanes again. For sure. It worked out for them in the end, but who knows. As we go in, we're going to see what goes on with this matchup. But first up, we have to talk about the skins. Who's really going to win? Is going to be the person who wins the skin match. I honestly forgot who we picked last. <laughs> uh, it was Northern Storm because Gale Force was missing a couple. Oh, right, right, right. And also the pizza. Pizza was correct. Yes, the pizza was correct. I like pineapple and I like pizza. But some Do things they go are... together. Yeah. <laughs> That's the real question. They can be applied to a lot of things. All right. No applicant. Come on, no nocturnes. Ah, come on, guys. All right, so one for one against each other. So... Uh... I, uh... Vandal Twitch, I, I like. I, I For whatever reason, I, I love shin skins, almost all of them. Uh, I love TPA because for some reason I'm always thinking of, uh, like, an air traffic controller, like, on the runway. <laughs> <You know? laughs> i'm not sure that's what they were going for but all right if it does it for you <laughs> it, it works it makes me laugh i'm a happy camper i love the skin um I, SK... I might have to go with northern storm uh, i'm i'm gonna disagree with you i'm gonna go with gale force on this one i'm not a big fan of skt jacks uh, i love victoria's maokai uh and um the elementalist and star guardian Azrael's are solid skins too so i i'm i'm gonna disagree with you but it's so okay. one for one, so it looks like it's going to be a one for one for tonight. Northern Storm is going to come back and take the title. Not really the title, because it's going to be a tie, but you know, something. They're going to get extra brownie points today. Yeah. I don't know if they're redeemable for anything. <laughs> no, they're not. That'd be something. I have a bake sale for the LCUS. No. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get lucky i'm waiting for you to inspire me with some canon adc play you're gonna be waiting for a long time <laughs> we've, been waiting, we've been waiting for that canon adc for a while when was the last time we had that i think that was last split we had that well uh, i definitely know that um gotta get lucky played a lot of canon it was just it was ap flanking canon if i remember right mm -hmm. if my memory serves but Anyway, both teams sticking together this time. Uh, I think that there is a huge early game focus for both these teams. I, I think they're both looking for something very similar pathing, too. They've just chosen opposite sides. Oh, well, Gale Force is going for it. Fishing for something in the wrong hole. <laughs> Cue the horns. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Yakety Sax, right? I think that's the name of that song. Yep. Yakety Yak. Yakety Yak, that's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I heard what I wanted to hear, but then I was like, wait a minute. No, 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 it's Yakety Yak. <laughs> <laughs> also, your, your um, air trumpet was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I, re I really hope there's a second chance for you to break that out this game before <laughs> they're like oh. chasing each other down or something. I will try. Ooh, it looks like a red buff steal from Evelyn, but gonna get spotted out immediately by Stelio Contos' Maokai. Is anything gonna happen about this? I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think. Let's it go. <laughs> I, I, I think that was the right choice, but I would definitely be looking uh, red buff if I was Nocturne. And I'm very happy to know that Deformed Ape does know how to play jungle. I see that you're taking the red buff. You guys need a snack? No? <laughs> Alright, see you later. 
after that awkward exchange. <laughs> now we're kind of back to the original gameplay here, just everybody. Takes out infinite, trying to do his darndest, but nothing coming from it. Uh oh, they Poor expected Dave, you're that. Trouble, my friend. <laughs> the laugh from the chaos. Does he make it out? Oh no, Flash! <laughs> Evelyn had to flash that. I thought the red buff was gonna kill him, and I, I almost freaked out there for a moment when it didn't. But yeah, this is really bad for deformed ape. Um, pretty smart play coming out of Northern Storm to uh, immediately kind of force that thing. Um, just taking a quick look, Evelyn absolutely ran immediately back to red buff, also expecting that deform ape knew how to play jungle. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Chaosix plays uh, two two level jungle thinking. <laughs> Three and chest, nice like kill from Sigtau Infinite. Going on to Shaken. This is a bloodbath already, folks. Sorry to cut you off, Troubles. Oh, no, it's <laughs> fine. I, I totally missed that somehow because I'm bad at this. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Ah, it's cool. That's what you guys got me for. I'm not good at it either, but I try. Well, uh. Help, 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 help me out here. Help me visualize. How, how did the kill go down? Well, Sigtau Infinite just did a jump onto him with jump onto Shaken, was able to get some damage off to get the W to get the daggers out and just auto attacked. I'm actually kind of surprised that that happened as it did. <laughs> Ooh, flash forward too on this. Ah, sh camera, stop. I'm struggling here. Sorry. Shaden, you're in trouble, dude. Ooh, Ooh got the binding. No, oh. no! There was. <laughs> That was so close, but nothing happened. What is going on? <laughs> so oh, no. much is happening. Okay, okay. I, uh... Well, uh, definitely an early game focus. That bit was right. <laughs> sure. I thought the, I thought this Jax was a shade in special. Come on now. I want my money back. Six out infinite. Catching Shaken again. Just doing a massive amount of damage. But Deformed Ape is there to help out. No Flashes ignite this time. And flips over the wall. Gonna peel. <laughs> Does not feast on a Lux again. So I assume it went like that the first time. It's just that he had ignite, and, exactly. and that was the exactly. damage difference. Okay, there we go. We 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 basically caught it. <laughs> See, this Nocturne is pretty significant farm behind. Uh, definitely a rough start, Evelyn. <laughs> Certainly more of a threat than uh, the Nocturne at the moment, but let's see if he's able to stabilize. Okay, he's already 500 gold behind. That's not good at all if you are Nocturne. Not great. Playing into Northern Storm's hands right now. Let's we'll see if they keep this momentum up. They're doing a wonderful job right now. Kind of reminds me of last game. Oh no. <laughs> I've, I've doomed them. <laughs> Pet Joko already stacking that tier. Uh, obviously, super common for Nezreal to do that, but uh, he's gotten to that phase very safely. I had. I do have to say, Zigtow Infinite has been doing a whole job with this Talon pick. Just really waiting for Shaken to just overstep his balance and then just punishing him for it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it has to be nothing but safely coming out of Shaken now, which is never that fun, but totally doable on Lux. A little bit of poke damage, certainly nice, but uh, the moment he steps past <laughs> about the halfway point of that lane, he is dead. Jax gets back to lane and immediately jumps on Maokai. Alright, alright. Everybody's being kind of a gentleman to, to each other now. Well, I think Evelyn has something to say about that, but she is a lady, so I don't think she's required to be a gentleman. Eh. She'll be ladylike and kind of just peek in and then leave without saying anything. I don't know. Do ladies do that? I don't. I don't. I, know. I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking at that red buff though, on spawn, very cruel of Chaos Six. Um, Nocturne right next is definitely aware of what's going on here, but um, 
Oh yeah, enough roaming happens. Gale Force has Deform's Ape back, and uh, it looks like they're going to uh, get get the right buff into the right hands if you're a Gale Force player. Ooh, nice root out of Poison Ivy, gonna do some damage on Sick Cal Lord, but not enough. Able to get away with half HP. Yep, basically just gets the uh, Ezreal new That's W proc. Put your guard down. Interesting, you don't even have to be looking at Evelyn, and you can see when she does the charm. Okay, the list of spectator things like that is um is increasing. I love it. Has nothing to do with this game, but I think now's a good time to mention it. I noticed that uh, the Urgot skin changes the color of the chains on the screen, and I thought that that was pretty cool. Oh, another binding! Lots of poke damage going out. Uh, Sigtel Lord basically constantly chugging potions, but he's out now. Come on, Sigtel Lord, I believe in you. Get that taunt off. Although not right now. You got two full HP at the bot lane. <laughs> and there's Play a Nocturne safe. nearby who's level 6 and does have ult, so he made it to that stage safely, although he's actually a level ahead of Evelyn. I don't know how this happened, but he's in trouble now because that is a Talon that is tracking him. Manages the Blast Cone to safety. Takes a bit of damage for his trouble, but no big deal. Talon also has Chaosix back, though, and is able to make sure that the right, right buff goes to the right people. That Jack's trying to get some decent damage into Shaden. Uh, super low, big fight. Flash forced out. Both flashes out. Uh, Shaden forced to fight in the minion wave uh, while uh, Stelio Kanto is backed up very successfully. They're able to stay alive through all of that damage, but the wave is coming down to him, and I don't know if Shaden's going to jump in on this. I seriously doubt it. No, not while he's under tower like that. He's definitely going to play defensively for right now. Let some healing be done. Evelyn continuing to be a nuisance, hunting down deformed Abe, who doesn't know that he's being hunted down. Could have faded safely to the turret, but he'll never know. Is spotted now. Evelyn knows that he's spotted and backs off. My game sounds weird. I think that there's a problem. Uh, I think it's... Uh... It, it's it's what Evelyn stealth sounds like if you're Evelyn. Yeah. But it's all the yeah. time. Yeah. Feels bad. It's not great. It's every time she's stealth. It does it actually do it when she's. It's that's yep. what it is. Oh. Oh, I'm just upset now. Riot, please. Come on now. Oh, and it goes away when she goes away. <laughs> I'm gonna notice it all game now. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying about 10 seconds ago about nice things for spectators? Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Don't even bother, Riot. <laughs> Just fix it. <laughs> all right. We'll have to make a house rule where Evelyn has to stay out of stealth at all times. <laughs> Ooh, Nocturne comes in. Oh, nice. rooted, rooted on Jax. Uh, Shaden is definitely down for the count. Now can they get Chaosix? Coolons are almost up for Stelio Kantos. A charm does happen. Ooh, a wonderful flash to get out. I think that's all she wrote. Yep, able to back off safely. Sigdow out Infinite is here. This is bad news now. There's a lot of damage here to be had. Flash by D4 mate gets out safely. Stelio Kantos is still doing a great job of locking down. Talon does die. Stelio is on the hunt here. Um, isn't able to see... Oh, comes very close to popping that stealth, but not successful. As it was, 2-4-0 for, for Gale Force. A great uh, start to the game. Evelyn looking here for this Nocturne. This might be it. That is bad <laughs> news. Uh, rip Deformed Ape. Although, very well on Chaosix to clean up on that. More fight happening. This, this might... Uh, well done as well by Shaken. Lots of cleaning up happening, but the ultimate cleanup goes to Gale Force. And again, another 2v1. The same thing that happened to Gale Force when uh, they funneled in one by one is now happening to Northern Storm, although Shaden is able to get out with that Jax. Alright, alright. Three for three right now. 
gold is still pretty even. Yeah, but I'm sorry, this is just kind of lulling me into like just the, the the, silence. Yes. <laughs> oh, um, Fawn. Oh no, he doesn't alt. He just gets a good trade on. Even the sounds sound different. <laughs> I need to stop talking about it, <laughs> but um, Lux, lots of damage coming out in Sigtown Infinite does successfully avoid that rake damage. Chaosix looking bot lane. Uh-oh, this bind is going to lull them into going in on that. They do rapidly clean that up, although Evelyn is in position. Uh, Poison Ivy is certainly dead. Fat Jackalope, I think, is going to make it out safely. Ends up being a one-for-one one through a gang, so uh, that's that's not... Um, you're, you're happy with that result if you're Gale Force. Uh, Toplin continues to fight. This is this is a slugging matchup here in Toplin. Stelio is doing a great job of getting that damage in, but I'm not sure. Okay, there he is. He's got more abilities. He's getting it in. Uh, that is a Shen ult. Stelio needs to get out of dodge, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Sigtow does land, in fact, land the... Uh, never mind. Screw that. He gets out. Charm happens. Shut down Lux. Uh, that's how many lanes? I think that's three consecutive lanes, isn't it? Of... <laughs> yep. Every All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch my breath here for a moment. You you take it. <laughs> take a deep breath, in and out. We're at a reprieve anyway. So Stella Kanto is able to get out. The, although we do see a lot of action happening throughout the lanes, it seems like that we have a moment of reprieve. Although I say that Chaos X might find Poison Ivy, or he's going for that fat jackalope. Yep, gets the he charm off charmed. and gets some awesome damage. Ooh. Killing is pretty for Chaos X. Shaken TPing down just to give us some help. I wanted to quick check and uh, that that damage, that execute damage was indeed through Black Shield. Poison Ivy did get the uh, Black Shield in <laughs> and it just didn't matter. I gotta get lucky, do not worry. I was also searching to try to find if there was a way to turn it off, and there does not seem to be a way. <laughs> we'll have to deal with the silence of Evelyn. Nice ult from Nocturne, able to push off, get a flash. I do always say if you try to do a gank and you get flash, you get it. Ooh, nice! In fact, Jackalope just trying to get some damage off. Yeah. Hashtag blame Google. <laughs> Anyone, uh, anytime I gank and I get a flash, I'm pretty happy. Although if I spend a Nocturne ult, something that is on a long cooldown and very important to get ahead on, I'm always just a little bit disappointed if I only get the flash. Um, again, just specifically when I have a big cooldown like that. A big fight again. I want to see this. He jumps off. Okay, another fight in bot lane. Flashes Ooh. forward to get in that laser lane just to make sure that... Uh, Shaking gets that double kill with a laser. Massive fight in bot lane. And that's first turret as well. Shaken is probably giddy right now, able to get a double kill off of that laser. Well done. It looks like it's a. Fi fi probably banging his keyboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a, a really, really fantastic uh, prediction <laughs> at the end of the day. But. Yeah. I, uh, I think um, I think Sig was in trouble either way, so. Uh, might, might have been able to save that flash, though. <laughs> Gale Force just rolling off of this. Able to get the bot lane all the way down, almost to the base. Sigtow going to jump in on Nocturne. Uh, Stelio Contest is nearby, but I think the damage is going to go through. I'm not sure if Stelio can even successfully kill this, especially with Jack in tow. Just a couple seconds behind turning that uh, fight, but as it is, Sigtow Infinite's talent is starting to get off to a great run. This Eve continuing to harass that bot lane, looking for more damage here. Uh, Dark Binding comes out. Or the chains do. Soul Shackles comes out. Dark Binding hits on uh, Twitch. Evelyn going deep. Uh, one uh, Shaken Zonia's uh, big fight now happening. Uh, Sigtau looking to engage on Stelio Contos, who is following, does have a little bit of mana. Uh, Taunt comes out for Sigtau Lord. Twitch gets a bunch of free damage on. Uh, Flash is forced out, uh, but that shield is going to keep uh, Stelio Contos alive. All in all, could have been worse, uh, but a little bit of over uh, over aggression here costs Gale Force their top lane turret um, on the back of uh, some otherwise very great plays that they've been making. Use the wheeze. 
give us some times to breathe, folks. <laughs> but all that time going on, Shaden was doing a top laner's duty and going on a business trip in the top lane, getting the first tower down. Jax is a terrifying split pusher, uh, but the only way to be a terrifying split pusher is to split push, and uh, Shaden absolutely knows that. Mm -hmm. we we'll be looking for opportunities now as we get into later in the game. Now we're seeing a lot of motion out of both teams, kind of just looking for the next opening. We do have a Cloud Drake up. I wonder if that, that'll be the next spot. Maybe not. This is actually the first Drake, holy crap. Nocturne Alt goes in, looking for this Twitch. Uh, Shen Alt comes out exactly three inches away, but that uh, was all that was needed to give Fawn enough time to stealth. Absolutely worth it in the end. Um, but two major cooldowns, and I think Shen's is longer, so I think if I'm Nocturne, I'm okay with that. That Drake just keeps on getting abused to abuse other players. I, I think in retaliation, Gale Force is going to kill it, which is, which is a little bit sad, because it's not like this Drake did anything wrong, it just keeps responding to getting poked. Yeah. We care. We care about Drake's animal cruelty. Ooh, very close on Poison Ivy. Misses the binding by just a hair. Stelio Kantos, uh, looking to see if he can get to... Oh, he's standing on a ward and doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> that poison not doing much to Stelio Kantos. They will just eat some fruit to get up there. Just help back up. Ooh, Ooh Talon, uh, there we go. Up, oh, you're in trouble, my friend. Getting the root has to flash away. Really well done on Poison Ivy, though. It does cost her flash and her heal, but she gets the binding off, gets out, and forces out the, the flash from Sigtau Infinite. Um, all on an engage that Sigtau Infinite wanted to go for. Although, I think he wasn't suspecting that much damage from coming through, and to be honest, neither was I. Poison Ivy in trouble again. Gets caught here. Uh, Soul Shackles comes out. Gets the Zonia stopwatch down. Talon is locked in place. Is able to jump on the train. Is able to make it out. Uh, that charm comes through. Looking at Ezreal. Gets charmed. But Chaos is unable to follow up the damage. Wonderful job of screening by Gale Force to keep Poison Ivy safe. Alright. Alright. Objective not die. Is going awesomely. Swimmingly. Feels like I'm watching a White Wolf game. <laughs> or option 12 from last split, or uh, uh, this split too, I think. It's just it's not their meme anymore. <laughs> yep. Uh, 8 to 7, though, so lots of deaths going over. Just generally speaking, um, lots of very good disengages as well. Kind of feeling like it's a low blood game, when in reality, I don't think it is. <laughs> but... Um, Definitely super interesting game. I'm I'm enjoying this one a lot. For sure. Oh, if Riot would stop with the chimes with Evelyn's stealth, that would be great. <laughs> Making me sleepy over here, God. I do think we have a moment to talk about gold advantage, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. The game's relatively even, but there is a one th uh, 500 gold lead on account of Gale Force, so a little bit of an advantage there. Bunch of poke damage on Sigtown Infinite. Baron is going to make him regret clearing that ward. But looking at the local gold, there is uh, 1,500 advantage for Shaden over Stelio Contos. That's all CS. Um, and in fact, um, even a little bit more than that just because of the assist. Uh, Evelyn is actually a little bit behind Nocturne as she looks at an engage. I don't think anything's going to happen here. I'm going to keep talking because no one likes gold advantage like I do. Uh, 402 Lux over Talon, so that's a, I actually kind of expected that to be a little bit different. Uh, Shaken doing a great job on Lux of staying relevant. Um, and Ezreal actually about a thousand gold over again is running Klepto, so that, that is a factor, but also um, just got a lot of damage on, on Twitch. Or a lot of gold, rather. Ooh, big fight. Evelyn goes in. Uh, Black Shield is there. Gets a lot of damage back out. Uh, is actually caught here by Malka. That's going to be it. One for one trade. Does get the Zonias out. Flash Force by Sigtel Lord. Sigtel Infinite is able to leap over the wall and make it into safety. I don't know if they're going to follow this up any further. I'm not sure if they should. Yeah, it does not look like it. Twitch. Toby Japan wants a little bit of a piece. Ooh, this might be trouble. 
shut down. Ooh, We're not going does... down from the poison. <laughs> and an ignite. Uh, always very important to note both or <laughs> whatever. Because um, that summer, that summer. As Shaden is relentless in his chase of Stelio Cantos, uh, able to make it out. Turns out that tanky trees are hard to kill. I do have to say, did anybody else notice that flash that Sig did? It was like a ninja. Okay, somebody did notice it. Thank you, Ace. <laughs> Cosplay done right, folks. <laughs> something, something, Nero, right? Yep. Thank you, Nero, for sponsoring us. If you like, like having skins, you might like to have skins in real life. Also, uh, again, thank you to Old Host for hosting uh, this the set of games. We do appreciate that a lot. All right, I'm up now that Chaos 6 is now not stealth. Okay. <laughs> new new rule, you're only allowed to, uh, to to say things into the cast when Chaos 6 is revealed. Just, just <laughs> mesmerizes me, dude. I it, swear. It's, it's relaxing. It's, uh, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess... Uh, it's kind of like a campfire, you know, or uh, uh, any fire, I guess, or um, you know, running water and all that, where you're just kind of like, I'm okay now. <laughs> Everything's nice. Everything's fine. Oh look, murder! A lot of murder happening this on the rift today. Really bad news for Shaken. <laughs> he does have Zonias, and he gets out, but I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to get much done. Never mind. Buys enough time for his team to catch up. Trades out one for one. Certainly worth it, considering how bad things were. Uh, Sick down Infinite looking for more. Jacks jumping forward, uh, trying to get that stun on Stellicantos. Does land it, but again, Tanky Tree is hard to kill. Sigtow Lord now a little bit overextended as the rest of the team successfully collapsed for Gale Force. Um, really just a fantastic collapse to get uh, all the members of their team where they needed to be. And again, we have the bot lane switch to top, although uh, this one was a bit delayed, I think on account of the dragon. Sigtow Lord looking for more. He actually just gives a, an escape for Shaden. Um, very, very kind of him to not let his teammate die. I can't tell you how many Lee Sin games or Jax games I've played where I'm just like, no, no don't, don't. <laughs> oh, I forgot uh, Evelyn's stealth, so it's, it's the solo cast for, <laughs> for a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I heard it. <laughs> if you hear me snoring, that's when you can punch me in the face. <laughs> well, I mean, I, let's not rule out that I'm just that boring. <laughs> no, no, no. You're good. You're fine. <laughs> Nocturne is going to bump into most of the enemy team. Uh, a lot of this going on, not exactly great, but is in position of Poison Ivy, who is able to get a lot off there. Um, defensive, I think, use of the Paranoia. Uh, Soul Shackles also burnt, but not Zonia's, because it was a stopwatch, which she hasn't replaced, which explains that. But um, all in all, uh, I keep thinking that Gale Force is going to be a little bit too far forward, and the rest of their team always moving to match actually i'm very impressed with the coordination from both teams but certainly from gale force this game mm -hmm. i was actually surprised i thought sick tower infinite was going to take the new record for the lowest hp but no it's 87 when i hovered over him He's still getting out with absolutely nothing he's been doing pretty well with that talent Just yeah able to do a little bit of damage a little bit of poke and a little bit of go he certainly playing it on uh, like a knife's edge, right? Uh, just aggressive enough, but uh, but not too aggressive that he dies. A little bit unfortunate for him. He hasn't been able to walk away with a kill in some time. Uh, he keeps chunking out people with a little bit of help from like Evelyn or someone. Uh, he keeps chunking them out to um, you know like thirty percent, twenty percent, but just unable to secure mostly due to that teamwork. However, both teams now have a Cloud Drake, so that's essentially neutralized. Northern Storm definitely picking up momentum here. Uh, I think that Gale Force has been playing very well, but they've been playing very well by reacting to Northern Storm here. Teleport coming down as Fat Jackalope in a lot of trouble here. Gets charmed, caught up, and bursted by uh, Evelyn and Talon. Now Stelio Kanto's in a bit of trouble. Second teleport gets forced out. It is a 4v2 if this teleport completes, and the uh, outer turret is, has been destroyed. All after, right. After force out that teleport, they just backed off. I actually really like that play. Force out the cooldown and then just just back off. They've got what they came for.
I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at the chat. <laughs> that was that was a good Jax. I have finished farming. <laughs> I can now join you, my friends. <laughs> That got me. All right. <laughs> oh man, he's he is Flame Horizon Stelio, Stelio Contos, and obviously uh, Maokai is trying to play uh, a supportive role here. But still, that is that is a lot of gold. Taking a look at that advantage, it's just under two thousand more gold for Shaden over Stelio Contos. Uh, Triforce completed, and um, uh, yeah, Executioner Tiamat. Oh man, this. Shaden is online. He can. He is absolutely that split pushing threat that I am so terrified about in my solo queue games. <laughs> All right. Still pretty. Thirty well, about thirty minutes in, and still pretty even with pretty much everything. Gold towers. Yeah. Last time we we talked about the the team's gold. Uh, it was like 500 gold apart, right? And yeah, we're at 500 gold right now. So not a thing has changed. It is, it is an incredibly close game. Both teams are really giving it 100%. At least that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, for sure. The weather storm showing that they are down, but they are definitely not out. Jack's jumping on the Stelio Contos. <laughs> Jumps Ooh, in again. You're in trouble, my friend. Can't even see the health bar, but you're doing bad. I can tell. But no, oh, actually, never the table mind. Such a deformed ape. We have Tikal Lord coming in, turning the tables, and another teleport coming in from Fat Jackalope. Wait, was that a teleport? There? Yeah, that, that was Fat Jackalope's point? teleport. Meanwhile, in mid lane, Shaken jumps on. Or uh, sorry, I said that backwards. Sick Down Infinite jumps on Shaken and gets absolutely depleted. Turns out, double binding is kind of hard to deal with, especially after the first one lands. Say that there's a lull and then all of a sudden the flip just the switch just gets flipped. Flip just gets switched. Oh my gosh. Fan doing a great job here. Absolutely gonna take out Shake and just find enough time for Chaosix to come in chaos and otherwise perfectly earn skill by or kill by Fan. But um, uh, that submarine twitch is also online, adding to the number of threats. We've got a Talon jumping anywhere. We have one set of camouflage due to Fan. One set of camouflage due to Chaosix, both of which are going to be super hard to deal with because it is essentially a roaming pack of invisibility, and that is just going to be the defining factor for Northern Storm's team uh, and whether or not they win this game. <laughs> Speaking of whether or not they win this game, you need to not get caught like that. Oh no, my dude. <laughs> how Lord was in a little bit of trouble, able to dash away just fine. That's the problem when you're playing a self character like Twitch or Evelyn is you never know when you're um, when you're walking up on a champion who's gonna see you, who's who's kind of expecting that rotation or whatever. Um, kind of kind of a little bit aggressive out of fan, but at the same time, I I just trying to get some wards on and get some sniff out some uh, some information on the enemy team. I can absolutely respect that. Talon positioning here in the flanks, looking for some kind of engage here, but is outnumbered. I wouldn't recommend it. Evelyn, solo pushing in top lane, probably not what you want to do if you're someone who's permanently invisible. Mm -hmm. Talon might find some trouble in the jungle. Nope. Oh, is it? Just is it? barely misses it. Oh, yeah. Is it? Is it a Talon that would have been in trouble or Nocturne? I, I actually don't know who kills who. Uh, at this point. Depends on who gets the jump on the for other one. Nocturne does have a completed uh, Guardian's Angel, so that is a uh, big factor. Meanwhile, Shaken has started stacking a Rod of Ages, three stacks on that currently. Um, so some late game scaling options chosen on Gale Force here. I think I think they're settled in for the long haul in this game, which makes sense since it's still perfectly even. In fact, it's down to a 100, to, you know, 100 gold difference. Folks, this might be the 60-minute game you've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Truffles, just uh, just a thing. Look mm -hmm. at that farm on Jax. Three, one, three. 
Oh, he's almost to double big fight happening. Holy goodness. Poison Ivy is able to Zonius through that Evelyn burst, which is mighty and impressive. There was a ton of damage comes out. But before Poison Ivy Zonius does get the binding off, very impressed with the accuracy and such such a fast reaction time. Uh, Fat Jackalope then goes and deletes Chaosix. That, uh, that Ezreal is absolutely a damage threat right now. Has double stacked tier. Uh, has both a um, Seraphim's and a Man Immune. Um, and a Sheen item. So, <laughs> so yeah, lots of damage coming out of Fat Jackalope. Baron fight started. Good rotation coming down. Uh, Gale Force is actually outnumbered. And I don't know if either team actually knows that at this moment. But uh, if I was Gale Force, I would be very careful right now. We got everybody coming in. Misses nope. his smite on... Unfortunately, for that Nocturne, it's always heartbreaking. But, uh, excellent secure by Chaosix. Lots of damage coming in. Paranoia finally used. Jumps on to that Talon. Uh, is able to secure the kill. So it turns out Deformed Ape, when he got the jump on Sigtail, I'm going to absolutely kill it. Excellent, excellent call there, Nickelbacker. Uh, and that ends up being a clean fight with the only person up left, Chaosix. And the only person who died for Gale Force is Shaken. Chase. All right. Certainly, posturing around Baron here. I don't know if they're going to start it. I, I think that they should just make sure that they've got uh, good vision on. Although they do have um, maybe another twenty seconds here before uh, before a full team fight would happen. And I think they're thinking about it. That or they're where the Evelyn's there, and I'm not sure if they do know that. Uh, they might find out soon enough. Poison Ivy, do not go in that bush. It shows not Zonius doing this time. <laughs> Evelyn definitely playing some uh, behind the enemy lines here. <laughs> so, uh, just <laughs> tracking <laughs> this. Holy goodness, I'm actually really impressed with that. Chaosic playing this very well. <laughs> oh, we, we missed it. We missed our, our chance for Yakety Yaks. I'll always do a troll roll. <laughs> you know what? No, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Honestly, I just feel bad for our viewers at this point. <laughs> Alright. Is anybody going to do anything about this Baron? <laughs> We've been setting up for it for, it feels like, five minutes, but it's only been about one. And honestly, I think the correct play is to do nothing about this Baron, although I wouldn't complain about a big team fight breaking out over it. Uh, but the, I think this, the correct macro play here for both teams is to just keep eyes on Baron and then to uh, to look for something else. I agree with you. It's just so funny seeing these teams just kind of dance around each other. But as you said, it looks like that they're just going to let it be for now. Chaos like still just roaming around trying to find somebody to get. You got a tasty Lux right there. I do not like this teleport out of Ezreal. I understand the need for farm, but I would have much rather he kept that for the inevitable Baron fight that's coming up. Just the battle of wards right now. Everybody <laughs> just cleaning up everything from the opposite team and then just placing their own. And then the other team comes by. So many wards have given their lives here. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, what, did, what did would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Shaken jumps on in, gets out, dodges the binding, goes back in on Fat Jackalope. Fat Jackalope has a stopwatch lying around, has to flash out. Shaden also flashes, but right into a very angry tree who's very hard to kill. We've been over this before. He does get the shutdown on. That is massive. Poison Ivy doing real low. Uh, does Zonius stay alive here? But this is, this is uh, game over there. Ooh, Nocturne dives in real far. I don't like that. That's that. He regrets that. I'm sure he regrets that play as well. Deformed Ape gives one over just to make sure it's a closer game than it was otherwise. And meanwhile, Evelyn uh, is hanging out in top lane, making sure that, uh, that she gets that farm in. <laughs> I cracked myself up. It's one of the junglers to go on business trips. Yeah, that right? doesn't matter because we got the bottom lane and the top lane probably going to go down 
Honestly, they set up a, th uh, a 131 or 113 in this case, and I think that's okay. Although Lux is certainly taking advantage of the fact that Evelyn isn't stealth to get a lot of damage in. Shaden jumps in under turret, absolutely fearless. Sigtel Lord goes for a flash, gets knocked out by the arcane smash. Uh, is not able to secure that, although I don't know that Stelio Contos is going to be able to live. Uh, Jax does end up going down, but not before he secures the kill. Uh, meanwhile, Ezreal and Morgana on the chase here, looking for that, uh, looking for the Shen, able to secure it. Massive damage coming out of that uh, that arcane pulse, arcane uh, the Q coming out of the Q. Yep, close enough. Mystic shot. I'll get. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Oh, we're looking at Baron now. Tides have turned here pretty significantly. Unfortunately, they don't have their tank. I'm not sure if they want to go for it, but they certainly... Well, they started it up, so now I know. Uh, Evelyn in the background. Uh, Talon also nearby. They're aware of Talon, but they can't see the Evelyn, so I'm not sure now they know that there's an Evelyn nearby. Do you have some vision on it? Things are going to go south here real fast if... Uh, okay. Uh, teleport coming out of Stelio Contos. I like this. This is this is suddenly turning out to be okay. The tank that they need at this moment. Evelyn buying her time, looking for this smite steal. Is going to ult smite it? Is she going to get it? No, she doesn't. Secured by. Oh, what happens is they could just get exploded. Gale Force immediately turns on and kills Chaosix and Sigtau Infinite, leaving absolutely no time for a smite uh, smite secure. Although I do very much like that they tried that coordination was impressive but ultimately gale force um, met them on that level of coordination nicely done nicely done now what are you gonna do with that baron yeah that's the next lane that's what <laughs> Uh, in this case, the 131 is fine, but I don't think that they know about this Elder Drake, which is certainly going to put a dampen in it. Yeah, they were able to secure that real fast. Twitch definitely online. A ton of damage coming out um, between that, between Fawn's Twitch and Shaden's Jax. Just huge damage threats. Shaden uses the Counter Strike a bit early, gets caught by the Twisted Advance. Arcane Smash comes out. Uh, Sapling does a little bit of damage. I'm not sure if they have enough follow up. Flash forward, gets the root. Another Counter Strike in the wrong spot. Uh, now they've turned on to. Shen, who was uh, immobilized because of the ult, uh, Stelio Contos probably has another flash, or not a flash, another twisted advance coming up, but uh, ends up getting slow and backs off. Still, that uh, that's a 4v5 now, which is very helpful when you're dealing with the fact that your opponents have an Elder Drake and also uh, you have Baron. Also, speaking of things that we need problems for, uh, or uh, problems for uh, Gale Force, never mind, this team fight came out, who cares? Holy cow, Talon gets immediately chunked. Jax has to jump out. Uh, Ultimate comes out of Stelio Contos, forcing them off the tower, and they're just going to bowl down this inhibitor. An uh, unstoppable force. Maybe, maybe, Aram is exactly what Gale Force needs to do in this game. Might be right with that. Well, it worked out for them in game two, that's for sure. <laughs> Evelyn looking for damage. Black Shield comes out. Nice flash coming from Poison Ivy. Stelio Contos escorting Poison Ivy out. I don't know if it's going to work out uh, for uh, for Northern Storm, and it does not as Stelio Contos is able to back off successfully here, but gets spotted by the rest of the team. I think a full disengage is probably the right call here. Um, Looking at the macro play here, what, what I would really like now that that mid lane inhibitor is down is that all members of Gale Force go into top lane with the exception of uh, Shaken, who is the only member with a teleport. Although uh, Fat Jackalops has just come up as well, so either one of them can hang out in that lane. Nickelbacker, this is shaping up to a great game. I feel like I'm hogging the mic, mic just because I'm talking about the play-by-play -play a little bit or whatever. Uh, no, that's cool. A lot's going down. <laughs> I will not... I can't take that away from you. You're doing a good job. But, man, oh, man. We got one inhibitor for both teams. It's really... It's oh, even, even, no. Again, Sorry to interrupt. This. It goes again. Another big engage happens. Twitch almost takes up Poison Ivy, who has been on point with her Zonia Hourglass. Instead, Nocturnal comes in and almost takes out uh, Fawn. Both are forced to back off. 
Uh, Sigtown Infinite gets chunked out in the in the exchange. Big fight happens here. Lux Laser nails two. GA is procced on Shaden's Jax, who is about to die. There's no way he makes it out. Never mind. Okay, he almost made it out. That was actually <laughs> closer than I gave him credit for. And that ends up being two for five. There's already inhibitor down, and Baron Buff has worn off by this point. Baron Buff has worn off, but they're still going down the bin lane strong. Northern Storm is going to have a hard time with this right now. Burst is just too much right now. And it's kind of interesting, everyone does a ton of damage on... Now, a flash comes forward, immediately chunks out that Twitch. That that ult was one of their last hopes here in trying to clear that. Uh, it was a long shot to begin with. Anyway, Stick Out Infinite does go golden, is going to get destroyed by that Ezreal ultimate. That was perfectly timed. Flash forced out on Evelyn as she jumps back, and Gale Force successfully 2-0's Northern Storm in a very impressive uh, set of games here. Game 2 was phenomenal to watch. GG's all around. Wow. Northern Storm, I expected more out of you guys. I mean, you did bring it to the table. That was a very even game. Well done from both teams, but Gale Force just brought more to the table. And... Wow. That yeah. brings them a step closer. They got the 2-0. Oh. That is it, exactly what they needed. I, uh, you know, if, if the rest of the team's kind of like 1-1 one, one or something, or maybe there's a lucky 0-2, oh um, Gale Force might very well make a playoff run. We might have to play some Silver Scrapes next week. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The, that whole game ended at like 600 gold apart. Like, like it was a very close game. Right, right. Let's see if we can find someone to interview. Preferably somebody from Gale Force. Um, I'm thinking That's... maybe Deformed Ape. Let's go for it. Holy cow. I... Take a breath. Yeah. Take a breather. <laughs> Have a drink of water. Put your feet up. Do something to help you relax, man. Those games... Whew. All right, looks like we will be interviewing Deformed Ape. Uh, is he in Discord? I'm talking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to jump to the interview room um, and, and, uh, and pull him in if I see him. Just a moment, folks, while we get this interview put together. But still, just an impressive game. Fat Jack Loops. Azrael did the most damage by a healthy margin in that last game. I, I I know I have it up and everyone can see it, but I forgot to switch my... There you go. <laughs> just kidding. There it is. Um, so that's the damage. This I'm very impressed with uh, Fat Jack Loops. Azrael damage. It's very... Holy crap. Strong, Yeah. <laughs> Um, Shaden putting up a very admirable performance as well on Jax, um, but all in all, uh, just solid team fight, a solid performance out of both teams. Got that right. It looks like we do have Deformed Ape with us in the interview room. How's it going, Deformed? Amazing. Amazing? We won. I, exactly. <laughs> Not exactly. only we that. Got the 2-0. You got further to your goal for the championships. How does it feel? Uh, I feel like I got carried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that so Nocturne you're... game was a little bit rough, but I, I thought you had a decent game one. Thanks, man. Like, yeah. I do got to ask, uh, how, how, who came up with the idea of doing ARAM for the first match? It seemed like that you guys were camping out in mid lane a lot. That's our game plan. Just stay in mid. <laughs> All right. Seems to work out with you, so I Fresh won't talk down to you for it. Mid, mid turret. Eventually, what will happen is, is one of them will back off, right? <laughs> you know, eventually they'll they'll make the mistake of leaving mid. Um, like, yeah, let's let's talk about that knockdown game. I I, I know um, it, it was a little bit rough there with that red buff steal, and then they they kind of predicted that you would move to red buff as well, and um and and got that early kill on you, so you kind of had to do like this buffless delayed start to the jungle. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I mean, just, just that, that was a good read on Northern Storm, right? Not much, you, not much that you could have done different. Um, but, but what I did want to ask is, is um, actually, I don't know if, 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 if you were aware of this, but with the, with the full vision that I had as a caster, you were, you actually hit level six faster than Evelyn did. And in fact, you even had a little bit of a gold lead there as well. So, um, so I was really impressed with how you stayed in the game and stayed focused. Uh, do, do you want to talk a little bit about how you know what your mentality there was? Um, usually when I die. <laughs> in the first place I just power farm as much as I can because if like if I go for a gank and I'm under leveled don't have as much items it it it'll just snowball and end up all of us getting killed so right. just right click the camps <laughs> as fast as possible right um no actually I was actually pretty impressed with your um nocturne play uh, the, uh, Chaos Exevelin was uh, certainly a force to be reckoned with, but I, I thought that um, your whole team did a great job of rotating and uh, that you personally did a great job of uh, showing up in team fights when you needed to. Um, and you may have not been the solo damage carry, but I, I think that you did a great job of enabling your team. Um, I, in fact, I kind of wanted to touch on that uh, teamwork because there were a lot of very clutch appearances for Gale Force where... Um, Right as someone absolutely needed help to survive, someone would show up. Uh, can, you, can you talk about your like macro play in, in your team comms a bit? Um, for me, it's just press R. <laughs> <laughs> top tier strats, right? <laughs> well, and, and I'm sorry, yeah, sorry. Well, and, and, and maybe maybe not just a nocturne because because you you were very similar in game one. I, I thought I thought your rotations were um, pretty respectable as well in game one. Well, one of my downfalls for me as being a jungler is losing objectives, especially ones that we definitely should be able to do. So I feel like we control the objectives more than normally. Yeah, certainly. Um, uh, like uh, that, that one Baron fight at, at the end of game one, that was insane. Let's talk about that one. Um, off the back of a, of a lost team fight, I, if I remember right, uh, you guys went in and successfully uh, stole Baron and then wiped the enemy team uh, let's let's talk yeah. about that one a little bit. What 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 was that like? Well, currently <clears throat> I'm on a two in one laptop, so I get ten FPS in team fights. So I was lagging so bad, so I just flash smited and it ended up working. <laughs> uh, I I know my personal motto is I'd rather be lucky than good. So <laughs> I mean, lucky is usually usually turns up to be better than good in most situations. <laughs> Well, Nickel, do you have any other questions for uh, Deformed Dave? No, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Deformed, do you, do you have anything you wanna you wanna say uh, to your teammates, or maybe um, just in general? Um, thanks for the carry. And shout out to Juicy Walrus one two three. <laughs> uh, that's about it for me. True words have never been spoken. <laughs> well, thank you uh, for joining us, Deformed, and um, I'm look forward to seeing you play next week. Yep, thanks for having me. And uh, likewise, I, we're going to get ready here for our third set uh, of the week, which is Nine Lives versus Phoenix. Um, we'll be here uh, with the next game here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, make sure you sit tight. Uh, from me and Nickel. Uh, or from me and Nickel. Feel free to say bye. <laughs> Well, I'll be heading out. It'll be you and Kenos for the next one. But thanks again for watching, everybody. Get ready for the rise of the Phoenix. <laughs> Self-proclaimed from Alonzi Tardis. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm sure it'll happen. I'm not 100% certain, though. He, he has been a fantastic hype man. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. That's how you get wins. Anyways, uh, stay tuned to see if the Phoenix rises or if Nine Lives is uh, one, one too many. <laughs> <laughs>